Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice trial problem from University of Cambridge, England. We have 2 minus x squared or to the power x squared minus 3 square root of 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 1. And we have to find all the real solution to this problem. But before we begin, please go ahead and then pause the video and try your hands on this. And if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to break this exponent down. So we have x to the second power minus 3 square root of 2x plus 4. Now from here, I'm going to look for two values that when you multiply, you'll be getting this positive 4. But when you sum them up, you'll be getting negative 3 square root of 2. And the numbers are negative square root of 2 and then negative 2 square root of 2. Okay, so this expression becomes x to the second power minus square root of 2x minus 2 square root of 2x plus 4. Now from this side, I'm going to take x common. So we have x into x minus square root of 2. Then from this side, I'm going to take negative 2 square root of 2 out. Then we have x minus square root of 2. Okay, so we have x minus 2 square root of 2. Then x minus square root of 2. So in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put this one there. So this equation becomes 2 minus x to the second power or to the power x minus 2 square root of 2 then times x minus square root of 2 and this is equal to 1. Now I'm going to represent this whole thing by b then this base by a. Okay, So this equation becomes a to the power b is equal to 1. Now from here we'll be considering a couple of cases where a to the power b will be equal to 1. And the first case is that for this whole thing to be 1, b must be equal to 0. Okay? Any number to the power 0 is 1. Alright? And then the second case is a should be equal to 1. Alright? Then the third case is that a should be equal to negative 1. Then b should be even. In other words, b should be equal to 2n where n is a positive whole number. Alright, now let's focus on the first case. Now the first case you are saying that b should be 0, okay? But from the equation, b is equal to x minus 2 square root of 2, then x minus root 2, and this should be 0. Now this means that x minus 2 root 2 is equal to 0 or x minus square root of 2 is equal to 0. Now making x the subject from here, we have x is equal to 2 square root of 2. Then at this side, making x the subject, we have x is equal to square root of 2. Now guess what? x can never be equal to square root of 2 because if x is equal to square root of 2, then this side we have 2 minus square root of 2 squared, which is equal to 0. Okay? Then the top here we have square root of 2 minus square root of 2, which is equal to 0. So we'll be getting 0 to the power 0, which is indeterminate. Okay, so we are saying that x can never be square root of 2. Alright, so what it means is that x equals 2 square root of 2 is a real solution to this problem. Okay, now let's consider the second case. The second case we are saying that a equals 1. So the second case we are saying a is equal to 1. So if a is equal to 1, then what it means is that 2 minus x to the second power should be equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and make x squared the subject. So we have 2 minus 
one is equal to x to the second power. And this implies that x squared is equal to one. Now taking square root on both sides of the equation, this square will cancel this. So we have x is equal to plus or minus one. Okay, and this is a solution to the problem. So we have x equals plus or minus one. Okay. Now let's consider the third case. The third case we are saying that a is equal to negative one and then b is even. Okay, so the third case we have a is equal to negative one. And this means that two minus x squared is equal to negative one. Now making x squared a subject, we have two plus one is equal to x squared. And this implies that x squared is equal to three. Now taking square root on both sides of the equation, we have this squared will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of three. All right. So now let's go ahead and then substitute this value into the exponent, which is b. Okay. We have b is equal to x minus two square root of two. Okay. Then x minus square root of two. So when x is equal to square root of three, we have b to be square root of three minus two square root of two times square root of three minus square root of two. Okay, now let's go ahead and then expand this one. Square root of three times square root of three is three, then square root of three times negative square root of two, we have negative square root of six. Okay, then we have this times this, we have negative two square root of six. Then this one times this, we have positive four. Now simplifying this, we have seven minus three square root of six, okay? Now when x is equal to negative square root of three, we have negative square root of three minus two square root of two, then negative square root of three minus square root of two. Now let's go ahead and then expand this. Negative root three times negative root three is three. Then this one times this, we have positive square root of six. Then this whole thing times this one, we have positive two root six. Then this whole thing times this one, we have positive four. Simplifying this, we have seven plus three square root of six. Now you can see that this whole thing and then this one are not of the form 2n. In other words, this one and this one are not even. Okay, so we can say that x equals plus or minus square root of three is not a solution to this problem, okay? So in all, the value for x in this problem is x is equal to plus or minus one, then two square root of two, okay? I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.